this is an opportunity for us to celebrate our country, to celebrate our talent. We are a great sporting nation. We stand out globally as a, as a sporting nation. We, um, we have great people, champions across the globe, people who are celebrated globally. We must, as they are celebrated globally, we must also celebrate them here at home. And we must always remember. I see, uh, for example, I think uh, the last two days, there's been a big debate about who said what. I don't know, Moses Kuria said something. We must always, you know, we must always remember that this is our country. We must always remember to celebrate our country. And we must defend the right of anybody to say whatever it is that they want, so long as we are not sabotaging Kenya. You know, we must defend the media, the free media. We must defend their right to criticize, to say whatever it is that they want to say, even to uh, write propaganda, even to say the wrong things, even to write falsehood. You know, we must defend that right. But we must also defend the right of those who hold the media to account or who call out the media. When the media goes rogue, we must also defend the right of people like Moses Kuria to speak their mind. The same way we are defending the media to say all the things they want, including their own ones, right? And uh, I saw one uh, journalist saying the president should defend us from Moses Kuria. That's fine. I will do my bit. But I want to ask them, so who is going to defend me from rogue media? Yes. <laughs> because I go through hell all the time. Yes. <laughs> yeah? So I think we need, we need a fair balance. balance. Yeah? We need a fair balance. I th and I think if they are feeling pain about what others say about them, it should tell them mm -hmm. there are people who feel pain when they write falsehood about others. And I hope this will uh, enable us to uh, calibrate what we say.